Hey guys, Mr. Moopik here back with another video and today I have something really crazy to show off to you all and that is black holes here in Minecraft Pocket Edition. So as you can see, this is not an actual block in the game, it's more or less a hole in the sky that happens to be black and that's really where the term black hole came from. Even though it's not what you'd probably think of when you think of the word black hole, uh, it still fits a description pretty well if you think about it. But this is what is considered to be a black hole by the creator of this map, which is Floppy Dash. So Floppy Dash has made some pretty crazy stuff here in MCPE in the past, and I've done videos on it. Uh, just weird glitches and stuff, and this is really just another one of them. So I will leave you down in the description below a link to his Twitter and to the download of this map in case you're curious and want to play around with it for yourself. So. Here is actually, this map map is actually over black holes and fire particles. So these are just some weird glitches he figured out how to do. And as you can see, this is a black hole with a lot, with the fire particles inside of it. And then here are some fire particles outside of blocks, um, on top of these blocks and on the side of this one. So it looks really cool and you could implement these into, I don't know, an adventure map or something. But I'm going to teach you how to do this here in Pocket Edition. Now there's one little catch. And the catch is, if you're on iOS, this glitch is almost pointless to you, outside of this map anyway. Because, in order to do this glitch, you need something called Invisible Bedrock, which is right here. As you can see, if I click on it, it doesn't even have a name, it says dot name down there. So it's not an actual block in the game, it is something that has to be hacked in using an inventory editor. And as far as I know of anyway, there is no inventory editor available for iOS, even on jailbroken devices um, that is available to be used, and therefore you cannot actually hack this in outside of this map. Now I'm on iOS and I happen to have it right here simply because when you download this map it is already included in the inventory of your player and so you can use it whenever you want to use it. And this is just a little demonstration, I did it on this block right here, but if I were to place Invisible Bedrock on this block, basically what happens is it just makes that side of the block uh, invisible or disappear. So it actually is a solid block though, I cannot go through it. Um, but it just has some really weird properties, and I've used some stuff in the past with it, um, but yeah, that's the little catch there. You have to, you're gonna have to experiment with this glitch only inside of this map if you happen to have iOS. But if you're on Android, good for you, you can do this glitch uh, wherever you want as long as you have an inventory editor. So anyway, here is how you put this together. So what you're going to want to do is, I'm actually going to create this right here, the black hole with the fire particles inside of it. So you can create the black hole without the fire particles or you can put the fire particles elsewhere on top of a different block or something but I'm not going to I'm going to knock two birds out with one stone. So here's what you do. Here is a mob spawner and you're going to want to build it up off the ground so it looks like cool and floating and stuff like that. And once you've got it up here, you're going to take a bat egg and put it inside of the mob spawner cage. So right there, as you can see, the fire starts to spark up, and there's a tiny little bat in there spinning around. Now that's the reason why we used bats for, or he used bats for this, is because it's the smallest mob to put into the, the mob spawner. All these other mobs are ginormous, and if you were to put those in there, you'd still get the fire particles, but you get a ginormous spinning mob, and the, the bat is the perfect one for this. So anyway, what you're gonna want to do now is take your invisible bedrock and just put it on Actually, no, I'm going to make the black hole as well. So, if I wanted to make a black hole and the fire particles, you're going to surround this uh, surround this mob spawner with a really dark block. And I think the block of coal is actually the darkest block in the game, so I just recommend going with that one. So, cover the entire thing with the block of coal, or blocks of coal. And then at this point, you're going to cover every single face of this coal with invisible bedrock. So, as you can see here, once I start covering all the faces, the uh, the fire particles become clear and you can actually see them through the bedrock. And it looks really, really cool. So, like I said, if you wanted to create this without the fire particles in the middle, just a straight black hole, then make the, the inside block, instead of putting a mob spawner in there, put a piece of glass. So the piece of glass will be transparent and it will act very similarly, it just won't have the fire particles or any of the uh, mobs inside of there. So that's how you can create the uh, the black hole without any fire particles. And then if you wanted to put fire particles on another block, um, for example, like uh, like this one or like the pumpkin one or the hay bale one, uh, you can just place a block down and you can put the mob spawner on top of it and just not surround it with coal, 
surround it with invisible uh, invisible barrier rock around the mob spawner and voila you'll have your fire particles just floating there so anyway that is how you make it, it looks really cool in my opinion and like I said earlier, whenever invisible bedrock is placed, you cannot actually go through it, even though it's not there, even though it's not visible. But um, once you place invisible bedrock, you cannot break it in any way, shape, or form. It's just there forever. It's kind of weird, but that's uh, that's kind of the little downfall to uh, to invisible invisible bedrock. But anyway, that is how you make black holes and a fire particle inside of there here in Minecraft Pocket Edition. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little map glitch review whatever um and like i said i'll leave you links down in the description below and share me share me with your oh my gosh i didn't even say that right share me your thoughts in the comments below i don't know why i added an extra word in there but yeah tell me what you think of this down in the comment section below and leave a like if you enjoyed it and i will catch you guys in the next video